good day students you are welcome to another class of economics today marks the end of our topic on national income now we are considering theory of income determination with the following objectives the first objective we are to look at the concept of APC we are looking at the concept of APS and we are looking at the concept of NPS NPC now we look at the problems that are encountered in the measurement of national income then we look at the differences that occur in the comparison of standard of living now we look at the multiplier effect of national income now we move to the note proper now what is APS APS, which is also called average propensity to save, is talking about the proportion of your income that you intend saving. It's talking about the proportion. You know, let's take for instance, you are collecting 50,000 naira. How much do you intend saving out of 50,000 naira? It has a formula. And the formula is APS is equal to S over Y. Now, we are looking at APC which is average propensity to consume. What is the proportion of your income that you want to consume? You know, if you are consuming, you know you have two things to do. It's either you consume or you save. That is what you can do with your income. Any of the two. If you go for savings, then you are not consuming. If you go for consumption, then you are not saving. That is it for that. Then we go for to NPC, NPC. Marginal propensity to consume is talking about the difference. Take for instance, you were collecting fifty thousand naira before. Now your income is now increased to hundred thousand. Something has happened. We expect you, as a rational consumer, to increase your level of consumption as well. So when you increase your level of consumption, then we have NPC, marginal propensity to consume. Then the last one, which is NPS, marginal propensity to save. I want to give short, short examples on this in our next page. Now, NPC, it means C over Y. What is Y? Y represents income. Y represents income, C represents consumption. Now, when your income, let's say your income is equal to 80,000 naira, and your consumption level, the amount you consume from this is 40,000. Don't forget you have two options. It's either you save or you consume. That's why it's equal to C plus S. It's either you consume or you save. So if you are saving, you are consuming 40,000 out of 80,000, what do you have from ABC? APC now will be equal to eight, uh, 40,000, sorry, 40,000, 40,000 divided by 80,000. And zero cancel zero here, zero cancel zero here, then you have here one, here two. You have one over two, which is also 0 0.5. That is your APC. Now, I want us to quickly calculate APS. What is APS? The formula for APS, APS is equal to S over Y. What is our S? S is equal to 40,000 Naira. And our income still remains 80,000. So you have 40,000 over 80,000. Zero, zero. Zero here, zero here, here two, here one. So you have one over two, or zero point five. Now, this is it. We have calculated our APC and our APS, but we have something that connects the two. What is that thing? There is something called APC plus APS is equal to one. That means if you have calculated your APC easily, you can get your APS by subtracting. You know, we can make APC the subject of the formula. That is, APC is equal to 1 minus ABX. At the same time, we can do the same thing for APC. Now, let's move to NPC and NPS. NPC and NPS is talking about change. The change, let's say, for instance, 
your first income, first income is equal to 80,000 naira. Then your income is now increased to, increase now, increase to, let's say, 100,000 naira. A change has occurred. Can you give me the change? That's 100,000 minus 80,000. That will give you 20,000. That is the change in income. And don't forget, the formula for NPC is equal to change in consumption over change in income. That is the formula. And the formula for NPS, NPS is equal to change in S over change in Y. So, you should know how to calculate your change. This is how to calculate change. We have calculated our change in income now. Then you calculate your change in consumption. After doing that, put change in consumption over change in income. Then you get your answer. Now, I'm taking you to the last part of this, which is multiplier. What is multiplier? Multiplier is talking about the ratio of your marginal. It's talking about the ratio. When you say ratio, that is reciprocal of any number given to you. Let's see. The NPC. NPC has the formula of change in C over change in Y. But when you now talk about multiplier, multiplier of NPC, that is 1 over NPC. NPC, which is also 1 over change in C over change in Y. It's the same thing. You know we can transform this to be changing Y over changing C. That would be the answer for this. Because reciprocal of this, this one will come up and this one will come down. I think you are clear with that. Now, let's go to the next objective. Problems of computing national income. These are the problems. Inadequate statistical data. Some of the goods are what? Brought from the farms, from local farms. How do we calculate all these things? It's always a problem. Now, changes in the price level. Price levels are not what? They are not balanced. They are not static. They are changing every time. Now, double counting. Some goods will be counted at input and can be counted at output. Now, pre predominance of subsistence production. In Africa, in West Africa, we have predominance in the area of farming, which is subsistence. Now, effect of depreciation. How do we measure depreciation? It's always a difficult thing to measure depreciation because you cannot place value on it. Now, problem of assessment of net income from abroad. How do we measure the net income from abroad? Can you remember GNP? GNP, GDP plus net income from abroad. Problem of classification of goods. Then finally, differences in the comparison of standard of living. Differences in the income distribution Differences in the internal value of currencies, differences in method may be used, and the rest of the point. Now, finally, I want you to take note of the task given to you in your Google class, and the place I want you to be actively involved during the lesson. Ask me questions, and God will provide answer to all your questions. Thank you very much. Please stay safe. God bless.